MOLECULAR VIROLOGY! <laughs> so what is a virus? A virus is a sub-microscopic, obligate, intracellular parasite! Wanna know what that means? <laughs> TOO BAD, ASSHOLE! Viruses are non-living organisms which require a host cell to infiltrate, replicate, and disperse. There are two types of viruses, DNA like chicken pox and smallpox, and RNA like Ebola and INFLUENZA! <laughs> Using more precise genetic proofreading, the DNA virus attaches itself to the host cell's DNA in the nucleus and replicates with few mutations. Meanwhile, the RNA virus with less precise genetic proofreading attaches itself to the RNA in the cytoplasm and begins to replicate. We're beginning to see mutations. Oh god, the mutations are everywhere! It may be! It is! It's an outbreak! It's an outbreak! The match is over! The match is over! The match is over! So what is mutation? Mutation is when the replicate does not an exact copy. For example, virus strain ABCD replicates and produces virus strain ACDC. It's the wild card, bitches! Sometimes mutations are completely worthless. Other times, the virus will gain trace mutation, beating it up against immune defense and allowing it to spread to new hosts, like you. Uh, yeah, viruses have a pathogenic nature. Man owns chicken farm. Chicken gets chicken-specific virus. Virus mutates new strain in chicken. Chicken comes into contact with man. Man contracts new chicken man virus. Chicken pox pie! Mutations are what make viruses dangerous. In fact, a scientific study found it took five specific mutations in a strain of swine flu in order to go airborne between ferrets. <laughs> <gasps> yes! <laughs> that was so awful. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs>